Good day and welcome to episode 81 of our Let's Play of Fallout 4. My name is Turt Dalt. Let's get started. On the last episode, uh, we were continuing working on the railroad. Uh, uh, we got a Randolph Safe House 5. Uh, they wanted us to clear out Dunwich Borers for them, for Mr. Timms. Went to Dunwich Borers, cleared out a bunch of raiders, including the ones they wanted us to clear out. Uh, we, we then uh, uh, returned that in. They were happy. Uh, we went to place Amila for Tinker Tom. He wanted us to go to Hub 360. Made our way to the top of Hub 360, killing super mutants along the way and uh, placing the Mila, returned to Tinker Tom. We had another Randolph Safe House, Randolph Safe House 6. Uh, wanted us to clear out Bedford uh, Station for Mr. Timms. Went to Bedford Station, killed some ghoulies, and uh, cleared out the ghoulies they wanted us to clear out. Returned, uh, <coughs> returned that in, and uh, um, met Mr. Timms. He was happy. They rewarded us with some caps and a uh, killer weave, uh, Institute Killer Weave. Uh, then uh, continue on with Tinker Tom's Mila missions. Uh, he wanted us to place one on Four Leaf uh, Fish Packing Plant. Went to Four Leaf Fish Packing Plant, killed some ghoulies, placed the Mila, returned to Tinker Tom. Uh, he wanted us to place another Mila uh, on Corvega and uh, went to Corvega, went in the back. While at Corvega, Somerville was under attack. Went to Somerville, repelled an attack by some gunners. Uh, returned back to Corvega, made our way up, killing raiders along the way. Placed the Mila, returned to Tinker Tom. He had another uh, Mila to place on Commonwealth Bank. Uh, that was located right next door to uh, 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 Fanuli Hall. We uh, went to Good Neighbor, made our way to uh, Commonwealth Bank, killed uh, some super mutants, a few raiders, and a couple of bloat bucks. Made our way to the top of Commonwealth Bank, placed the Mila, returned to Tinker Tom. Apparently that was the last one he had. Uh, so to fill in the time, decided to do the uh, Fallen Sky Bridge. Uh, made our way to the Fallen Sky Bridge. Uh, via uh, Pinnacle High Rise, made our way up Pinnacle High Rise, killing uh, some gunners and some mutants, super mutants, made our way on to uh, Fallen Sky Bridge. Uh, went back home, uh, checked on our, uh, on our uh, settlements. Uh, while doing that, Coastal Cottage was under attack. Went to Coastal Cottage, re repelled an attack from some raiders. Went back home, Finch Farm, that was then under attack. Went to Finch Farm, repelled the attack. And that is what we did last episode. And that is all the all the uh, inst or, uh, railroad missions we can do up to this point. Let's turn up our sound. Excellent. What are we going to do today? Well, we are going to go after a bobblehead and a magazine and do a. Uh, mission, a long mission. We are going to go talk to Jack Cabot at uh, Cabot House.
I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Let's go meet the boss. What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. You just have to... You'll be right with him. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. That's really interesting. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. Okay, that's disturbing. I'm ready to get to work. Good. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Only about a million. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I have some questions. Shoot. What's this missing package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. Anything else? Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. Are we good here? 
How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine. But never got back here. Could be simple bad luck. Or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. You all set then? Nothing else. Okay. They're expecting you over at Parsons. So you'd better get going. Okay. Everything in here is stealing. Well, yeah, everything in here is stealing at the moment. And a lot of the rooms are uh, locked. At the moment. Okay. Requires key. So we're just going to go do our thing. We'll come back and loot this place in a bit. Where are we off to? Well, we sort of went by it when we did Linwood. Uh, we're just going to go to Coastal Cottage and go from there. Now, there's a lot of hub flower located around there. What time is it? rest here. <clears throat> Sanctuary Hills is under attack. Wow. That's a new one. Been a while since we've run into that one. Wow, that's new. guys. Back and forth, eh? How do we make out? Uh, missing something. I don't 
not see anything missing. Okay. Good enough. Let's head back to Coastal Cottage. Hopefully that's good enough. Should be. Okay, let's head to Parsons. Shouldn't run into anything along the way. I don't remember anything. Lots of hub flower located around here, ten to a dozen or so. Just a random dude, I guess. said there's about a dozen or so hop flowers around here we're gonna look around here a little bit of rare loots glowing fungus and such See if I can find these hub flowers. Wow, I'm not uh, finding loots today. Well, there's a couple of flower over here. That's irradiated. Not that I'd eat them, it's just nice to have them. down here. See a light. You did a 
it burns. radius game. People outside enjoying the air. Looks like that should be a fusion core, but it's not flower. Okay, let's carry on. Didn't get them all, but uh, it's not important. Got some. Place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Thanks for your help. Sure a thing. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. Okay, so we gotta go to Parsons Creamery. We kinda went by that as well. Four or five raiders. A uh, couple of them don't show up until you go inside the creamery to retrieve the package.
a couple of rainers up there. Serious syrup. There we go. Oh, let's loot around. There's a little bit of stuff around here, I think. Because a couple of raiders do show up here. Last radius game. somebody. Well, let's return the Jack Cabot, I guess. I think that's what we gotta do. Yep. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your sister mean... is missing, and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not... Mother, 
Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. Imogene is out there somewhere, maybe even lying dead in a ditch, and you don't even care. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? Hi. So did you find out what happened to the courier? We've been over this, mother. Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Gonna lie. The serum was all gone. Yeah, figures. Oh well. Here's your pay for the job. Too bad about the serum. Now, as far as what's next. Oh hell, I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. chooses to go off without telling anyone. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, we tracked down the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got it all, I'm sorry to say. Oh, that is bad news. Our supply here is dangerously low. Well, we'll just have to make it last until the next delivery. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor, at the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. I know the third rail. I'll ask around there. Okay. So we're gonna go home, drop off some Lutsky, and find the sister. Thirteen hub flower, nice. Mysterious f serum is important to us. Uh, that's for our trip in the glowing sea. 50% uh, damage resistance, uh, minus 36,000 rads, and plus five to strength. That is how we're going to do uh, glowing sea. Uh, we'll eventually get between 9 and 11, usually around 9. That's why I wanted to lie. But I have gotten 11 and I don't know how. I, I guess it's just a random thing. Luck. Let's
let's go find Imogene. I said to go check out Good Neighbor. I could go there right now. It's just over here. Uh, but we're going to go mm -hmm. win some speed checks, get some little extra XP. Now, I might have to turn off the sound. Uh, it could be singing. We're going to find out. Down the stairs. No singing. Yes. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. He's coming. My client appreciates the work you did with his rat problem. Now, if you're buying, let's hear what you want. Yo, do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Oh boy. <laughs> that was close. Hmm? What's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I love the song. It was perfect. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? But don't tell me. Let me guess. It's your eyes. Quick and intense. I bet you never miss a detail, hmm? <laughs> you like what you see? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer, I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Emma Jean? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seems like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day. But Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam! Would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes. That's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Well, let's read this flyer. Do you feel your life isn't what you wanted? Are you looking for a change? Come here, Brother Thomas, explain 
the truth behind our troubled world at the Charles View Amphitheater in the Back Bay. Revival meetings every night. All those seeking to change their lives for the better are welcome. So we're going to the Charles View Amphitheater, which is right there. We went by it a couple times. What time is it? 10.57. Well, I could go to Whoever Back Street a Barrel and walk is. down. I'll we'll have to kill that super mutant one. with a missile launcher again. <clears throat> Maybe a couple of trigger men. See, if I would have walked there, they wouldn't have been there. It's weird. It's weird how this is. If I would have went to Hangman's Alley and walked there, those guys wouldn't be there. But Now, where's this super beauty? there. Oh, let's go grab a missile launcher. Some various loots, I guess. Night vision. Well, those blood, uh, blood bags uh, respond. Pretty sure I would have looked at those. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Look, the truth is, we had a little, uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. 
she got kind of violent. So I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. If you're willing to take her off my hands, let me unlock the door for you, and then she's all yours. Uh, I've got to warn you. She's way stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. Several ways to solve this. You could just come in here, kill them all, unlock the door. But I like the little extra XP speech checks. Solve things as peacefully as we can. This is all stealing. That's not. It's all yours, neighbor. You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister? I was expecting someone a bit... younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society. Back when there was any. Actually, there isn't any serum left. Raiders ambushed the last delivery. Well, that's just typical. Jack wants to be in charge of everything, but can't even manage to keep up reliable serum deliveries. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Need anything before we go? No. I didn't bring anything worth taking with me. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Well, let's go home. Well, since nobody's in here... Might as well grab this Lutsky. It's not much, but it is Lutsky. Let's go. Go home, drop off some loots, get a XP boost. Okay, let me go.
Edward! Edward! Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Gee, no. Oh, I can How's move this? in here now. Oh, 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 that's stunning. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders this They're inside the building. You have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Let's go. Good. I'll explain on the way. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Yes, I found her. She's fine. Oh, good. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here. I hope that's the right amount. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. Okay, we're gonna loot around in here. There's some good loot. At least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave Unused again. Unused ashtrays. And... Now I really do have to go. I don't need anything right now, thank you. And I think all the doors are open. I'm not 100% sure, though. Boy, I'm not lucky on the mirrors in this playthrough. Couple tripper in there uh, for the simple fact that uh, there comes a point where you can't go back. So and I want to try to take as much of the loot as I can. Missile launcher in here, too. Mini nuke missile launcher. Damage cigarettes. A little pantry area. Oh, some more in the basement.
I can't remember cooking pots. I think they're just steel. Wine, wine, whiskey, whiskey. Cooking pots are just steel, it's stew pots. Cooking pan is just steel, I think. I just can't remember. My memory can only hold so much stuff. Can't just steal. Rum. Very rare. Okay, let's move upstairs. A little bit of story, I think, upstairs. those books. This is his lab area. I think right in here. Zeta guys. There you go. Bourbon, bourbon. they were collecting, I guess. Can't take any of those. Whiskey. Oh, I took a drinking glass. Oh, there we go. I'm here with something in it finally. Must be his room. Magazine. Excellent. Lorenzo Cabot's Journal. Thursday, eighth, February, eighteen ninety four. Off Cape Guard. Cape Cod aboard SS Wakeful. I've, I'm finally away. Emma Jean and w Willa Mina came to see me off. Emma Jean begging me not to go. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. As usual, poor girl. She takes these partings hard. Jack wasn't there, of course. He thinks I'm making a laughing stock of the whole family. With these exceptions, has no time for what he calls ancient superstitions. No matter. This time I'll return with proof that even Jack will not be able to deny. Saturday, 10th February, 1894. 
in the Atlantic aboard SS Wakeful. The weather is fine and the captain promises a quick crossing to Lisbon. The red tape involved in organizing the expedition tried my patience almost to the breaking point, but I'm sure it was better to obtain the necessary permits from the Omani authorities through the State Department. I can only hope that my sheaf of documents and ready cash will be enough to placate the local governor when I arrive. Wednesday, 21st of February, 1894, in the Western Mediterranean, aboard SS Wakeful. So far, so good. Uneventful crossing. Metric was waiting for us in Lisbon with the welcome news that he had perfected his electrical sensing apparatus, which is now safely on board in its crates. If it works as well as he claims, this may save us weeks or even months of excavation work. Monday, 5th of March, 1894, Suez, Egypt. Still waiting to finish hiring our team of diggers. I am beside myself with impatience to be on my way. We are so close now, but I know from long experience that we will have better luck with experienced Egyptian team than relying on the locals. Wednesday, 14th of March, 1894, Salaha, Oman. At last, we docked yesterday and have been uploading at a feverish pace. Any more delays and we will be in danger of having a postpone until the summer heat has passed. Friday, 16th March, 1894, near Wadi, Adam, Oman. We are on our way. Nothing more stands in my way but the impenetrable desert and the secrets of the ages. Ha! I welcome these challenges. They seem like child's play after endless delays and paper shuffling bureaucrats I've had to overcome to get here. Thursday, 29th March, 1894, Empty Quarter, Arabia. We have reached the spot without incident, some superstitious grumbling from our local guide, which I take to be a good sign. Tomorrow we'll see if metric apparatus works. If not, we begin digging in the traditional way. Saturday, 30th March, 1894, Empty Quarter, Arabia. Metric's apparatus has been bulky. Sand in its delicate workings, no doubt, but he has obtained a favorable reading in a depression to the south. Heat during the day is tremendous. We'll set to work tomorrow and see if we, and see what we see. Monday. 2nd April, 1894, Empty Quarter, Arabia. Nothing yet at the Southern Depression. Metric swears that it wasn't a false reading. Two more days and then I'll have to begin a search grid across the whole site, as disappointing as that will be. Tuesday, 3rd of April, 1894, Empty Quarter, Arabia. Success! Late this afternoon, the digger struck worked stone apparently the edge of a large circular structure. More trouble from the guide. The wisdom of not hiring the diggers locally now even more apparent as they pay little attention to him. Friday, 6 of April, 1894, Ubar, Empty Quarter, Arabia. I'm now convinced we have found Ubar itself. We've uncovered several fragmentary inscriptions with runes that match the ancient texts. We've made excellent progress clearing part of what appears to be a monumental plaza. Wednesday, 18th April, 1894, 1894, Ubar, Empty Quarter, Arabia. All work has stopped. Standstorm, one of the worst I've ever experienced. We are huddled in our tents in the lee of one of the large outcroppings and must hope to ride it out. The darkness is complete, although it is, is mid-morning. Friday, 20th April, 1894, Ubar, Empty Quarter, Arabia. Sandstorm continues for a third day like nothing anyone has ever seen. The guide is becoming very troublesome. Some of the diggers are beginning to listen to his wild tales of ancient curses and forbidden secrets. Even the normally phlegmatic metric is beginning to show signs of cracking under the strain. 
Saturday, 21st of April, 1894, a Ubar, empty quarter, Arabia. The sandstorm is over, but two weeks of work has been undone. The area we had cleared is now buried under several feet of new sand. The guy disappeared in the night. I won't miss him, but the diggers are even more unsettled. Thursday, May 3rd, 1894, Ubar, empty quarter, Arabia. We've located what must be the foundations of the great temple. So far, nothing but stone and rubble, but something must have survived. Weather getting worse by the day. Metrics talking again of resuming work in the winter, but I won't hear of it. Not when we're this close. Sunday, May 13th, 1894, Ubar, Empty Quarter, Arabia. I must record everything while it's fresh in my mind, although it's hard to concentrate with the crown right here in front of me. It's almost unbelievable, even to me, that I hold in my hands an artifact so clearly not made by any human civilization. But let me set down how it happened as clearly as I can. We had worked for at least a week to clear the shaft beneath the great temple. Even the diggers had caught the excitement. Then we hit solid stone, a cyclopean block, series of blocks as it turned out, obstructing the tunnel, clearly deliberately sealed by the builders. We almost despaired of getting through. Three days of laborious pickwork. I wouldn't risk explosive here, of all places. Then breakthrough into darkness. I was first in. The dust of ages covered everything, clearly a burial crypt, sarcophagus at one end of the chamber. We lifted the lid, and inside even I fell to my knees in shock. The diggers that were helping us fled. Metric, white-faced, I feared he was having a heart attack. Luckily, no. We'll make a full catalog of the tomb in the morning. I ordered it sealed up overnight. Not that I really believe any of the diggers would dare to enter it again, but better safe than sorry. I removed only the crown reverently, without disturbing the body or any other fat artifacts. And so vindication, the crown waits gleaming as if new made, although I know it's older than any human artifact ever uncovered. Later, I now know that it's the city this city's name was not Ubar, and that this building was not a temple, and what was beneath it was not a crypt. I have so much to learn and so much to teach Wilhelmina and Jack and Imogene when we return. We will, re will return together. Monday, May 14th. Metternich was extremely surprised to see me wearing the crown this morning and tried to argue with me when I ordered the men to bury everything we've uncovered. It doesn't matter now. The sandstorms will erase all evidence that we were ever here long before anyone can stumble across this site again. And the city's location is now safe with me until I can return and uncover more of her secrets when I am ready. There you go. More secrets. I get everything in here? Oh, left a lamp. Could have forgot a lamp. room. Lobotomized two. Can't be radioactive. Can't be freeloaders. Sneeze, sorry. Can't be explanation. Could be connections. Nice. Wow. 2 11, 1968. 
Another unwanted gift from my loving brother. Still, it might be interesting to play around with. 2 19, 1968. This whole computer thing turned out to be more interesting than I thought. I've been learning a lot from various BBSs. Jack's been griping about some mistakes he made in setting up his terminal, so I poked around until I found the file. It would be simple to fix it for him, but not nearly as much fun as watching him try to solve it on his own. 4. 01, 1968 was playing around with some new ideas and hit upon a good gag I wonder how long it will take Jack to figure it out 6 18 1984 went to see father again I just showed up at Parsons and threatened to make a scene until Jack finally agreed to let me go down I don't know why I keep going father puts up quite an act for me but I know it's not really him not since he got back from his trip wearing that horrible crown. I keep hoping that somehow he'll come back, that I'll see even a glimmer of the real person again. Maybe Jack will eventually succeed. As annoying as he can be, I can't, can't deny that he's very smart. 5-3-1994 I went off the serum for a whole month. I thought I could stick with it this time. But when you actually feel yourself getting older by the day and know you can't fix it, it's hard to give up youth and beauty voluntarily. I bet most people couldn't do it if they had the choice. 4 15 2075. Apparently, the Robco techs don't even know how their own systems work. I mean, it's just a simple bat file in the root directory of the database server for crying out loud. Hardly the hack of the century or anything. 11 09 2076. Things are just going from bad to worse. The things Robert tells me, most people don't even know how bad it is. And here we sit, safe in our little Cabot family bubble of privilege. I've tried to talk to Jack about it, but he's in his own world as usual. I doubt he even knows what year it is. And mother, don't even get me started. Her whole life is a state of denial. I know this is insane to even think, but maybe this is for the best. You'd think I could just get a gun or some poison if I really wanted to end it for myself, but I could never be that deliberate. How selfish must I be to think that I need the world to end as a way for me to get out of killing myself? 10.23 2077. Well, this is when the day the bombs dropped. It's happening. I think a bomb must have hit somewhere near. Power is out all over and as far as we can see from here. The emergency power is still on in the house, but not for long. Edward and Jack went to try to get to Parsons. Priorities. You see, Jack left Anders in charge here. He seems competent enough but there's something about the way he's been looking since it happened that I don't like. I better get back to mother. 11 19 2077. I got the power back on again. Things are very bad, but I would never admit this to anyone, but this is the most fun I've had since I can remember. I'm not bored anymore. Maybe this is how most people feel all the time. I really can't remember how I felt before the serum. Oh, and Anders is dead. I killed him. No one can believe it. Two days after Jack left, he decided that Cabot House belonged to him and Mother and I would have to leave. I can't really blame him. I mean, it was the end of the world. I'm not sure most employment agreements cover that, but he made the mistake of underestimating me. He didn't know how fast I was or how strong. I would have just made him leave, but he decided to fight. Probably better that way. One less person out there who knows about what we have here. We haven't heard from Jack for a week. He and Edward made it to Parsons, at least. Jack radioed when he arrived. Tried to be cheerful as usual. Put on a happy face for Imogene 
but who really knows if they're going to manage. At least Edward is with him. If anyone can get through this, it's Edward. 12-02-2077. Jack made it back, finally. He says Edward is very sick from radiation. He left him at Parsons. I don't think he expects him to live. I'm not sure why neither of us is sick. I was out quite a, while, a lot now that I think about it. Maybe another of the many benefits of Jack's magic serum. I'll have to thank Father the next time I see him. 8-11-2089 It turns out that eventually even the apocalypse can get boring. Jack and Edward are too good at keeping us safe. It looks like the Cabot family is immune from the end of the world, just like everything else. We just shrug it off and keep on going, just like we always have. Sometimes I'm very pleased about that. It makes me feel incredibly superior. Sometimes it makes me really sad. Most of the time, it's just boring as hell. 704-2121 I've stopped even telling anyone where I'm going. The world isn't as dangerous as Jack says. There are still people out there living their lives like they always have. I guess more of them are willing to kill you now, but that's probably just because they can. I always got the feeling that plenty of people would have liked to see us dead before. They just couldn't get away with it. 03 13 22 51. I don't know how Jack keeps himself busy day after day. You'd think he would realize that it was hopeless by now, after all these years and years. Maybe he's just going through the motions the way I am. Or maybe he stopped trying to cure father. I mean, what happens after? To us. I'm the only one that's ever tried to go without the serum. Maybe Jack and mother think they could just give it up but I think they're fooling themselves. There you go. Well, let's go home, drop off our loot ski, and head to Parsons. Oh, one more room here, I guess. Oh, I could leave some loots behind, guys. All oh, this stuff I can't pick up. Oh. Now I'm carrying too much. What can I drop? Wow. Fat man? I'll take the fat man. Ah, leave the fat man. Let's go. I could leave that stuff. That's good loots. Okay, let's go home. There's a Bunsen burner. Drop off our loot ski. And we're off to Parsons again. Let's go.
Oh, the Zena gun goes in the named area. Another way to waste time, eh? Wow. Well, you get to see all the stuff we got, I guess. put away some of this miscellaneous rest so much We'll go there at night because uh, sometimes they're battling. Oops. <coughs> a big battle here. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves. Not good enough. Might make a trip home, drop some of this stuff off. people left alive here, actually. Yeah, sometimes you come here, you come here in the middle of the battle. They're still battling. Let's go take a look around. And now we'll make another trip home and drop off some loots because we can.
flowers. I could swear there's usually one or two guys left. Let's go in. We get attacked. I better smarten up here. We're going to be fighting raiders, but special raiders. We should pick up a mysterious serum right in here. Find a way around. Right there, mysterious serum. Don't forget that. Wait, listen. Get ready. Okay, and this is a stupid where you follow him and he's crazy. He just runs ahead and causes problems. Chained. It's almost a blessing when he dies. No sign of him now. I don't like it. Come on, it's over. They must have run off. Don't you die on me! Wow, somebody a chatty Kathy. Won't let me loot, eh? Crazy. Got a 
have to drop weapons, I think. He makes this very hard to loot along the way. Okay. You are so dead. Fucking drink. down here. This is where we came from. Yep. Oh, how heavy are we? Should I start dropping? Light bulbs, nice. That's it. Legendary. Now, oh, why couldn't that be leather? Why couldn't that be leather? Whiskey. Oh, bourbon. I take the plastic pumpkin because sometimes there's stuff in the pumpkins. Okay, let's move on. Thank you. 
badly are you hurt? I'm not dead yet. But I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I, That's the front the again. Down to the basement, like you wanted. And shut it down. Oh. Shot quite a few of them. Decided to leave me alone in here. Yeah. Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think. It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I can really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Well, we might go home and uh, drop off some loots. Oh, no, no. Oh, can I go buy it again? Let's rest, get some bonus. You know what? Since we talked, we'll try to go to Parsons directly. Sometimes they'll respawn, but we'll find oh, out. I'm feeling swell. Told ya. No harm done, though. That's where we gotta go, all right? Let's talk to Deegan. Hmm? I'm not going any further until you tell me what's going on. I suppose it's time you knew. My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined here in a specially constructed cell in the basement. 
He became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he brought back from a dig in Arabia. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him, for his own safety as well as ours. Are you saying your father has been locked up here since it was built? That's right. Almost 400 years now. How have you managed to live so long? The artifact that caused Lorenzo's psychosis also introduced anomalies into his blood. I discovered that these caused a variety of side effects, one of them being to drastically slow or halt the aging process. Why can't you remove the artifact? When Lorenzo put it on, it somehow fused itself with his nervous system. All my early attempts to remove it nearly killed him. Since then, I've confined myself to trying to understand how it works in the hopes of neutralizing or disabling it. It's hard to overstate exactly how dangerous the artifact has made Lorenzo. In addition to being homicidally psychotic, he has also gained enhanced strength an unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. He also commands a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. Now, we need to get to the basement before these intruders find a way to set Lorenzo free. Follow me. Be careful, Jack. You too. This is when it gets goofy. Bobblehead, charisma. Nice. There we go. Now we got a permanent 11 charisma. Let's read his terminal. Nothing, no information there. Patient records. Patient 001 MS. Let you read that stuff on your own. Patient was admitted involuntarily to the maximum security facility for indefinite confinement. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's do this. We're almost there. There is one more magazine in here, I believe. There's a mine in here, I think. There it is. Or if I can get it before he blows it up. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Didn't 
blow me up with that mine. Let's hope we can find a way through. The utility elevator is on the bottom floor. Come on. Not exactly the push over that we were promising. Well, fewer people left in the game. Well, they try to rush you through here. Yeah, you're right. And it can bug out sometimes. Got it. Thing that he gets killed. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. I'll take the pillow. Well, it slows him down. So I don't mind him because I want a loot ski. my loots we're here it's the only time we're ever gonna come here I want to grab as much as I can I won't get everything but I'll get almost everything no sign of them now There should be something over there. Or am I just overthinking it? I think I'm just overthinking it. But I'm going to overthink it. Oh, teapot. Got rewarded. What's over here? Oh. Bullet in your hand. I don't care if you're already dead.
Bites the dust. What the fuck was that? You were so dead. So quiet. Shit. You? Oh. This asshole's using the stealth boy. He's kind of behaving today. Normally he runs way ahead. It becomes kind of a pain. Hard to loot. Hard to get my loot. Couple taking some cycle in the last days. Okay, see, he took off now. You better run. Where did he go? Jump down now. Legendary. This guy was tunneling. Tunneling into this cell. Uh, looks like they made a double cell here. other cells here it looks like can you get into this cell next door here I'm gonna tell you fucking throw it out Disappearing act, huh? Okay, what is this? Bunch of mannequins. Show your face. Bunch Come on, I'll share you. Just keep your eyes open.
bunch of drugs. Jump down again. If I find... again. This game has a thing for mannequins. Good. The old utility elevator is still working. some stuff here, I guess. Get rid of that. This will take us to the basement. Come on, this is the only way down. I'm coming, buddy. That doesn't look like he's gonna bug out on me. Kill everyone you see. Don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's We're been a there. long time since I've had the pleasure of a person. Oh, there was a couple in here. There we go, too. We'll stop us. My powers have grown, Jack. 
The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. I'm opening the main door. Hurry! What's the? Guy's gonna have some ceremony for him. Be free. There's still one chance. I just need a moment to enter the failsafe vaults. It's not too late. It will take some time for him to regain his powers. We still have a chance to stop him. Don't listen to my mysterious serum three. The crazy one. Perfect. You know this. Look at what he's done got to nine. me. I built a failsafe. Sometimes it's along the way. One of the raiders will have some serum on him, but uh, it's not very often that that happens, so. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out. Do the right thing. Let me out of here. Think back on everything Jack has told you. Who do you think is really good? There should be a magazine in here. Right there, Long another Massachusetts surgical journal. Nice. Right thing. Whiskey. You'll see. Father, don't do this. Too late, Jack. Why don't you wait there so that we can have that little chat that's so long overdue? Get away while you can. It seems Jack doesn't want to talk to his father. We'll have to kill him, you know. And all the rest of them. How long have you been locked up in here? My loving son trapped me here in the year of our Lord, 1898, so uh, almost 400 years. I think you were about to agree to helping me kill Jack and the rest of my traitorous kin, yes? Say I do help you kill Jack and the rest of your family. What's in it for me? What Jack stole from me, I will give to you freely. The gift of immortality. But first, I have some unfinished business to deal with. With your help, I trust. Meet me at Cabot House. I'm sure that's where the rats will congregate. Wow. Let's go. Okay, I don't remember that. But hey, it's been a while. What's on this uh, terminal? You could kill Lorenzo. Ah, uh, but man, that serum is so good. get a legendary weapon, named legendary weapon off uh, the other guy, but uh, the serum is so good. It's gonna get us through the glowing sea. So we're gonna go home, drop off some Lutsky, and then go to Cabot House. Now we're carrying too much. One lap.
go home. Away. Another whiskey. Let's grab a couple of that way. Okay, why am I? Oh, the couple of books. Let's rest. She understands. Go to Cabin House. So we got nine of those mysterious serums. We can have an unlimited supply, but you can't have any. You can just keep going back to him as long as you don't have any. We should be able to win a speech check in here too. Have you lost your mind? Why did you release Lorenzo? You were just keeping him prisoner to keep yourselves alive. That's a lie. I've worked for centuries to find a way to cure him. But he doesn't want to be cured. He likes what he's become. Hold on there, Jack. He has a point. Your story about curing Lorenzo has never quite added up. What are you doing, Edward? I'd just like to hear what he has to say. He's talked to Lorenzo. I never have. You're saying you think Jack's been lying about Lorenzo all this time? Yes. Lorenzo doesn't seem crazy to me, although he's understandably pretty pissed off. Well, goddamn. I guess you have some explaining to do, Jack. You can't seriously doubt me, Edward. After all I've done for you? Oh, my... Oh. <laughs> Sometimes the robots come in. <laughs> ah, cabbage sire, lab coat, and all this stuff will uh. You couldn't get into her computer. There you go. All this stuff is stealing again. Wow. Well, that's done. Okay. Thank you for your assistance. They had it coming. I can see you understand the deep satisfaction of revenge long delayed. 
Now that I've taken care of that bit of old business, I can see that I have a lot to learn. Things have changed while I've been locked away. This new world seems to be one of limitless possibilities for people of our talents and inclinations. I can see that we're going to get along just fine. Oh, I knew that from the first moment I saw you in that cell. I knew you would understand why freeing me was the right thing to do. But first, one last piece of unfinished <coughs> business. I promise to share my blood with you. And I always keep my promises. There we go. Here is your reward. I will provide you with a lifetime supply as needed. But remember, this is my gift to you. I will give you another vial when you need it, for your own use only. Do not sell it, or throw it away. After business, pleasure. Help yourself to a drink if you like. Jack seems to have done very well for himself, despite everything. And that's the secret of the cabin house. Now we can take everything again. Well, let's make a quick perusal here. Grab some loots. We'll probably never come back here again. Bourbon. All good loots. We need it. Batman, which we'll probably drop again. Some more XP's. Wow. That's it. This is one of these spots you can keep coming back to. Everything responds reasonably quickly in your whiskey. Wish they had stew pots in here, though. Rum again. worth doing. I think anyway. Uh, it's just me. Yes? What 
Can grab another Zeta gun. Might as well. There we go. Yeah, why they made it like this, I don't know. Terminal, I didn't read this one. Shield. Grateful. That's it. 2-10-1968. I think I finally have this new terminal set up correctly. Let's see if this saves. Yes. I can already see that this is going to increase my productivity immensely. Never mind. Mother's carping about newfangled contraptions. I see that I mistyped my name on the setup screen. I'll have to check the manual for how to fix that. That would get annoying to see every time I log in. 212, 1968. Still learning how to work with this new computer. Searched the manual for an hour last night, but couldn't find out how to reset my name on the login screen. Oh well, hardly worth worrying about right now. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. At some point, I'll need to take the time to tra transcribe all my old paper notes into this system so I can easily access them. But for now, let me summarize my progress so far in understanding father's condition so I have a baseline to refer back to here. 1. All attempts to directly remove the artifact have been unsuccessful so far. Father's blood pressure dropped precipitously and detectable brain waves nearly flatlined each time. <coughs> Excuse me. The results were the same. Total anesthesia, father unconscious. Local anesthesia, father conscious. Several types of antipsychotic, TO, DO, fill in exact list and dosage from my notes. Varying dosage, uh, dosages of LSD, TO, DO, fill in dosages from notes. Two. This implies that disabling the artifact in some way will be necessary in order to remove it from father. Question. Is the psychotic effect permanent? I.e., will it survive removal of the artifact, or is the artifact actively and direct, directly inducing it? 3. I've been very cautious with directly physically interacting with the artifact since the very early days. My in initial attempts to probe or tinker with it were met with similar physical symptoms in father to my attempts to remove it. I won't attempt it again until I have a much greater understanding of the artifact's inner workings. 4. Active scanning of the artifact itself has proven useless. I currently consider this a dead end. X-rays so far have proven opaque to all my scans. Obviously, I'm limited to the amount of radiation I can risk subjecting father to. Radio imaging again, the artifact is opaque at all wavelengths. 5. Passive scanning has been more promising. This is an area I plan to devote much more time. The artifact radiates across the electromagnetic spectrum and at varying strengths and wavelengths. I have some basic telem telemetry already built into father's cell and have been collecting data for the past two years. So far, it isn't much more than suggestive of further avenues of research, but I, but I am quite confident that over time and with more sophisticated sensors, I'll be able to gain genuinely useful insight into the way the artifact is controlling father. To do, get military contacts from Senator DeSoto. They are likely to have more advanced tech than I can commercially can get commercially. Consider making deal for samples of serum if necessary. 6. The physical symptoms and changes that the artifact has induced in father are as follows. Extreme paranoia and psychotic tendencies. This was obvious from the first, since no drug has been has proven effective in mitigating these symptoms. All evidence points to this being directly induced by the artifact. Agelessness, as yet unidentified modifications to his blood chemistry has prevented any further aging since he first encountered the artifact. In fact, 
he may be in better physical health than before. It seems likely that the artifact is actively monitoring and correcting any problems it finds with its host organism. Telekinesis, the most surprising ability. I tentatively believe that this is not actual telekinesis, but is something generated directly by mechanisms in the artifact itself, perhaps using manipulation of gravity waves beyond our current technology. Increased physical strength, perhaps a side effect of the artifact's monitoring and improving of it, its host. This caused some difficulty early on in father's confinement before I was fully aware of his abilities, but is now merely something to keep aware of. 7. Father's blood chemistry shows various changes from human norms, as well as traces of currently unidentified substances. I've proven that at least some of the symptoms described above can be communicated to other persons through use of blood transfusions. So far, through pure trial and error, I've been able to produce a serum with several of the beneficial qualities and few side effects, but my actual understanding of what the serum is doing is so far very limited. I'll continue to pursue that as much time as time allows, but it seems unlikely to be of much use in actually freeing father from the artifact. 8. X-rays of father's brain show no physical intrusion of the artifact. His skull remains intact, and I can see no signs that it has even penetrated his flesh. At this point, I believe that the blood chemistry changes, etc., must be being induced by the artifact indirectly. It is instructing father's cells on how to manufacture these substances. 9. My most successful intervention to date has been the development of the abremelin field, detailed specs and files at Parsons. Earliest crude implementation, implementation 1898, was simply a full-spectrum dampening field tuned to the same frequencies given off by the artifact. It did interfere with the artifact's operation, but at great cost to father's health. At the time, I had no choice. He would have been impossible to confine any other way, but refinement of the field has been a priority over the last decades. I've managed to reduce the negative physical effects on father while more directly blocking the artifact's telekinesis power. So far, my attempts to broaden the field's interference with other aspects of the artifact have been unsuccessful. They bring on similar physical symptoms to attempting to physically remove the artifact, but this remains the most promising avenue of my research. If I can discover how to interrupt this communication, I believe I will have the key to removing it, or the, at the very least in mitigating some of the other dangerous sy symptoms, psychosis, etc. Wow. 0723.95 Mother and Imogene have left for another European tour while I take care of the latest generational shift, getting more difficult to make this work in our modern age. Luckily, money still talks. I'll have to find someone reliable to leave in charge at Parsons while I'm gone. Perhaps Anderson could be trusted not to meddle. 010596 It's good to be back. John Cabot, long-lost cousin of the Cabots, has returned to claim his inheritance after the freak accident that claimed the lives of Jack and his family. As usual, I have to be careful to respond when people address me as John, and this beard is going to take some time getting used to. But such are the burdens of immortality. Anderson proved loyal and uninclined to poke his nose into anything, so that's another hurdle passed. I need to try to get as much done as I can while Mother is away. I find I am much more productive than usual during these transitions. 0905-2023 I've been experimenting with some of the new transistors and it looks possible to make a portable version of the Ab Abremelin field generator. This would be very useful if we ever have to move Lorenzo to a different facility for any reason. A lot more work is necessary, of course, and testing it on Lorenzo is out of the question. I won't risk shutting down the main field, 
but replicating the current field frequency pattern should at least give us something that we could try in an emergency, even if I can't be 100% certain it will work. 11 8 I've just hired a new fellow to help with the family's affairs, Edward Deegan. Comes highly recommended. It's too easy for me to ignore the passage of time now, but I've just realized how old Daniel is getting. It will be time for him to retire in a few years, and it's past time to start grooming his replacement. This is always such a difficult process that I tend to put it off, especially as mother can be so difficult with anyone new. If Edward proves reliable, I can start easing him into the family secrets. Tricky, but necessary. So far, so good. Mother has taken to him, which is an essential first step. 04 15 2075. I've had Robco out again. It seems like a small thing, but this login screen glitch has been driving me crazy. I assumed that it would be fixed with the upgraded terminals. You can be sure I was careful to type my name in correctly this time, but no, when it booted up the next time, there it was again. This time they completely wiped the entire system and reinstalled from their master holotapes. Unbelievably, the typo was still there. They've promised to have some of their sharpest engineers look into the problem, but I'm not sure they were being completely serious. If I don't hear from them within a couple of weeks, I'll make a few calls. 10 2076 Apparently, the political situation has become very dangerous. I don't pay much attention to current events, but Imogene's latest poll is a high muckety-muck in some government agency and has been telling her alarming stories about how close things have gotten to a full-scale nuclear war. I wonder if we are following in the footsteps of the ancients who created the artifact. If so, who might our successors be? Thousands of years from now, will a cockroach or civilization eventually rise to wonder at the artifacts we left behind? 12.01.2077 It really happened. I don't think I've quite come to terms with what it means for the long run. It's been one crisis after another. We certainly aren't out of the woods yet, but the simple fact that I can write this again means we are better off than most people. I don't have time to write down everything that's happened. Fortunately, Boston was spared a direct hit. My first concern was Parsons, of course. We had to maintain power at all costs. We've always had backup generators, more than usual even for a medical facility, but these were intended for short-term outages, not as a permanent power supply. Then there was the question of security. Edward proved himself amazingly resourceful. He already had plans in place for just such an emergency. Thank God he paid more attention to the news than I did. Still, there's no real planning for the end of civilization. He and I have been at Parsons for almost a month, trying to keep things from completely falling apart. Edward has been out more than he should. I'm afraid he's taken a heavy dose of radiation, but there was really no choice. I'll do what I can for him. I don't know how I could replace him. Emogene has stepped up amazingly. I had no idea she had it in her. The man we left in charge here proved unreliable, apparently cracked under the pressure, and tried to evict Emogene a mother at gunpoint. He didn't reckon on Emogene, and neither did I. She took charge and somehow kept things secure here in spite of everything. I'll have to see what Edward can do about a permanent solution for power and security for Cabot House. But for the moment, things look much better than they might. I expect even our resources will be tested for the limit over the coming years. But in some ways, I am glad of the challenge. One thing's for sure, the end of the world isn't boring. 6 20 I think I can finally say that things are looking up. Edward has recruited a more or less reliable security force to protect Parsons. The power situation is stabilized. Edward assures me we now have spare parts stockpiled to last at least 50 years. 
Moving between here and Parsons is still the biggest problem. There's no sign of any return of law and order, just the opposite, in fact. But what Edward has proved, proven skilled at dealing with the various groups of thugs that have sprung up. Speaking of Edward, his radiation sickness has developed in a most fortunate way. For a time, I thought he was surely going to die, but then his condition stabilized. He now seems actually immune to further radiation. Apparently, this is not unknown in other survivors, although Edward tells me that a strong prejudice has developed against these people. Hard to understand, as they seem uniquely qualified to survive in this new world. One benefit of the end of civilization that I hadn't anticipated, there's no need now for us to have to die periodically. I can go back to being Jack Cabot again for the foreseeable future. No more neighbors to poke their noses into our business. And the last one, thank God. 0507. I've lately immersed myself in Lorenzo's work like never before. I wish now I had made more effort, when it was still possible, to try to locate the site of so-called Ubar. After my initial failed attempts to find the site, I dismissed it as both hopeless and useless. Better to focus my energy on the immediate problems. But now, after going over Lorenzo's papers more thoroughly, I believe there are enough clues to the general location that a large-scale search using our aircraft might have been feasible. Something that wasn't possible in my first attempt, of course. Maybe I could have found some other artifacts that could have studied more directly. Even if they were for completely different purposes, it would be invaluable to understanding how the ancient technology functioned. I've also come to realize how brilliant Lorenzo actually was. I was far too quick to dismiss, dismiss his theories. Ah, the arrogance of youth. I'm now convinced that the, his essential premise is correct. The artifact he found was not made by humans. All the evidence was there, but Lorenzo was the only one who put it all together and actually understood what it meant. A staggering thing to think of. If only he had been capable of dealing with fools a bit more diplomatically, he might have gained more general acceptance of his theories and not been driven to such secrecy in his final expedition. There you go. So the son was actually trying to uh, save his father. Man, that was a lot of reading, and my throat is killing me now. I got a bit of a cold, so <clears throat> now I've got a sore throat. Oh, well. Life in the big leagues. I totally forgot about that uh, that computer, or I would have read it earlier. Whiskey. Is that locked again? Oh, we got her password, that's right. Okay, let's go home. Let's go home. Oh, 
broke up, repay that leave a vase. Now we're carrying too much. Wow. Well, we. I can just drop one of those. That should be enough. There we go. Another Zeta gun. A lot of whiskey that round. Let's put these named items away. Serum. How many did we end up with? Ten. So I got ten. Wow, nice. Ah, uh, let's pick our fruits and vegetables. Seems to be growing well. Yeah, usually I get nine. Sometimes I got an eleven. It doesn't rust out my suit again. We didn't get lucky on the... Sometimes one of the raiders you kill, those berserk raiders, will have here. one on them. But uh, we didn't get yes. one this time. I think that's just a lucky thing. Something to do with your luck, maybe. Everybody's standing around right here. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. Strong wish you were super mutant, not human. I saw it. Did I pick it already? Okay. Hey, what we discussed earlier. You're gonna okay, be a buddy. Speed, I right? just want the data. You keep bothering me about it, I'll tell everybody.
Hey, ah, there, there we go, buddy. You're gonna be discreet with that. I warned you. Right? Okay. Uh, let's check our settlements. Go to Abernathy Farm, I guess. Please be your son. Just wanted to trade a few things. Sure. Okay, they're going up. Let's uh, check another one. Croup Manor. They look like they were under attack. Croup Manor. I don't remember. Uh, where is Croup Manor? Croup Manor, where are you? I can't remember where that is. There it is. Looks like they were under attack. I didn't get a warning, though, so... Okay, they're going up. Finch Farm is happy again. They're happy again. Nordhagen. Let's go to Nordhagen. going down so I should uh, go see if they have a job got work to do can't talk now I'd like to trade some items okay oh, they're just going down for no reason I want to trade a few things Morats are gross let's go home See if we got any meats to cook. I don't think I have a lot, but might as well try. Outpost Simonja. Well, this could be tricky. Thank you. 
ready make coat. Perfect. Hey. You showed up just in the nick of time. I was glad to help out. I can't argue with your timing. Who knows what would have happened to us if you hadn't been here. Anyway, we appreciate the help. Let's go home. Vegetables made it another day. Yes, we did something. Right. Missing a moot fruit. Oh, let's see if I can find this meat fruit. Oh, I'll just grab one. Seems to be growing well. Made it another day in the Commonwealth. Rest. If I can find my bearings. Smash something. Turn down the sound. Saves I don't want. Save. Call that an episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a good one. Turt dolled out.